In this chapter, we're going to talk about placing parts without mates. Let's start by opening up the engine for motion assembly. You should know where that is by now or have it on your recent folders list. Once all the parts are loaded, let's insert an existing part. So go to the Insert menu, Component, Existing Part, and then hit the Browse button. Look for the Cloud part. Open that up and then place it somewhere on the exhaust side of the assembly. Now once you get it in place, let's try to manipulate it a little bit. First, look at the assembly from multiple points of view to make sure that you understand where that part is. Very frequently, when you see a part from one view only and then look at it from another point of view, you'll find that it may shift up or down or in or out of the screen. So what I would like to do is to manipulate this part so that this small puff of smoke is coming out of the tailpipe and the rest of this is trailing behind. In order to do that, I'm going to hold this down with the right mouse button and then move the mouse to try to get this oriented correctly. If you have a space ball or space mouse, you can also grab the part directly and move it around. Just be aware that any motion that you perform with the space ball, you cannot undo with the previous view option. We see we've got it kind of close, but now let's put it near the tailpipe. I'm just going to click on this with the left mouse button this time and push it into place. Then we'll rotate it around to make sure that it's kind of where I want it to be. You can make a copy of this and practice a little bit more. Roll it around with the right mouse button. In my case, I'm using a trackball instead of a mouse, and that changes things a little bit, but it still works much like a mouse. Okay, now we see we've got this positioned correctly from the top view but I'll guarantee that when we move this to another view, we have some more work to do. To just move the part, you can drag it with the left mouse button, but to rotate the part, you need to drag it with the right mouse button. Okay, so now we've got a couple of puffs of smoke. Remember our trick that we used previously of using the viewport for view? You can get a good look at where this is and then position the parts in one of the views or switch views. So you could be positioning the part here, drag the part in the top view, and then make sure you've got it right by positioning it in this view. Notice as I move the part up and down in the front view, if I'm doing it correctly, the part doesn't move at all in the top view. It just demonstrates that you really do need multiple views in order to view 3D objects correctly. There are some other tools. Let's get rid of the four view by double clicking at the center point here. There are some other tools we can use. Move component and rotate component. Move component in its default state is exactly what we have been doing using the left mouse button drag. But if we click on this, we see that there are some options available. You can also move along the assembly X, Y, and Z axes, move along an entity by a delta X, Y, Z, or to an X, Y, Z position. Let's go through these and see what they all mean. Along assembly X, Y, Z means that you can only drag in one axis at a time which is kind of nice. Your space ball has a similar mode of working where it only allows you to rotate or move along one axis at a time. That allows you to be more precise about the motion. A long entity will allow you to move, say, along an angled line such as that, and then you're sure that your motion is fairly constrained. Now let's take a look at a delta XYZ. This is where you key in a particular number along a specific axis. You can move or rotate parts using these options. There is another option that we've shown before, and I'll just create a copy of this part in order to show it in action. I'm going to hide this cloud. If we 
go to mate apart and we'll say we want to mate this end face with this end face there is an option that says use for positioning only what this means is that after the parts are positioned the mate is never actually created and added to the list it just positions the part only this is important for some types of actions such as getting ready for animated motion or things of this nature just be aware of this option and that if you create a mate and it doesn't show up in the tree, you may accidentally have turned on the Use for Positioning Only option. When I select on this part and delete it, it will also delete any mates that were associated with it, and that's this Coincident 139 that's going to go away as well. We can show the cloud. This concludes the lesson on placing parts without mates.